Hey, check this out. Guys, we talked about this quite a bit when we were doing our transmission you know, curriculum here that literally almost always when we have a set of gears next to each other, they almost always ride equal. So what I mean by that is we have the two gears themselves would have full real estate. And so I told you from an every mechanic standpoint, you always want to be concerned when you see something like this. What I'm going to focus on first is I'm going to focus on what is driving this gear, okay, or what this gear drives, I should say, and that is the clutch basket gear here. Right there where a screwdriver is, the contact between those two gears, what I'm trying to make a point here is they're flush. Let me come across here, okay, with the straight edge. flush okay so we have full real estate I'll take them apart and show you better what I'm talking about what I was showing there is that they aren't riding like this or they're not too you know recessed in we have really good even contact we realize that everything is correct between these two we have all the right pieces so we don't have to worry about that but now we've got this issue here of this Kickstarter gear where we do not have all the real estate well what makes it even worse can you guys see how this gear is below this one? Yep. It's sitting, you know, down inside here, but it's also down below here, so we just don't have a typical gear arrangement. Would that draw you to a conclusion that something's wrong? Yes. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you what we're doing to determine whether something is wrong here. You can see here we have a shim. I'm going to find the cover and the Kickstarter boss here that we know that that shaft and that shim have to ride up against. It looks to me like it's flat. Well, watch what I could do. I take a straight edge here. I could go across here and I could see that it is flat. It's not proud, meaning it's standing above, or it's not recessed, meaning standing below. Do you guys agree with that? Yep. So since this is flush with the cover, what do you know about this washer? It needs to be flush also. It needs to be flush with the cover. When you look at the, even looking at it in the video right now, doesn't it look like the washer's proud? Yep. Okay, so we took a rubber mallet and tapped this down. We made sure this was seated. You know, the whole thing that's drawn our concern is these gears aren't lining up, right? Mm -hmm. Watch what happens when I come across here with my straight edge. It's not proud, it's correct. Does that make sense? You could see how I could just wipe it on there. That's a great way to uh, use just your straight edge out of your toolkit so that you can verify if you're flush, recessed, or proud. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.